Hello, I'm Ajay Nair, a Vegetable Extension Specialist in the Department of Horticulture here at Iowa State University. Today I'm going to give you a quick snapshot about a lettuce season extension study which we conducted here at the Horticulture Station at Iowa State. Uh, the objective of this study was to evaluate strategies growers can use to grow uh, an additional crop after a main crop. Let's say a grower grows uh, tomato and pepper. Most of, the time, the time, most of the time, these crops get harvested by mid-September. So what if we can grow another crop after September? It sounds a little weird, uh, primarily because of the short growing season here in Iowa, but we thought, uh, let's give it a try. So the field behind me is the start, lettuce study, and what we did is we evaluated two strategies. The first one was using row covers. Uh, to grow lettuce and to extend the season. So there are a number of advantages of using row covers. Number one is that it increases uh, the temperature uh, underneath the row cover so the plant can grow faster. Uh, number two is that it protects the plants from frost. And number three, which is the most important and which you might be experiencing right now, is the wind. Uh, so you would see uh, in a minute uh, uh, how row covers help plants uh, grow better, uh, especially planted late. So the crop behind me was planted on the 3rd of October. Again, uh, as you could see, it's very late for Iowa standards. So the strategies which we used, I'll come back again on the treatments. Number one was using row covers. And number two, we're using two different concentrations of calcium chloride spray. Now the question is, why calcium? Because calcium, as we all know, is an integral component of the plant cell wall. So we thought, why not we apply some calcium and see if that helps plant to tolerate some cold stress. Uh, as I laid down the objective for you, uh, you will see in a minute how the plants did. Uh, today is the 10th of November, almost uh, uh, 40 days after we uh, transplanted. Uh, to tell you a little bit about the transplant production, we grew these lettuce from seeds uh, in the greenhouse. We produced the transplants there and the calcium treatments which we applied were two, uh, two rates. One is the 10 millimolar calcium and the other is the 20 millimolar calcium. These treatments were applied five times. Uh, two times when the transplants were in the greenhouse and three times when they were out in the field. So uh, let's walk out and see how the uh, treatments did uh, uh, out in the field. So this is the first treatment here. Uh, we put the plants out here. Uh, they were three week old transplants on 3rd of October. And as you can see, the growth of the plant, uh, it's not that great. You see a lot of yellowing, a lot of uh, tissue damage, the leaf damage, and that's primarily because of the high wind here. And uh, if, if you ask a grower or even a consumer, this is not something which they would be buying. Uh, uh, another thing I want to point out is the uh, sensor which we are using here. Uh, this sensor here records the uh, temperature and also uh, the light intensity. So that will give us a better handle of what's actually going out in the field. The treatment to my right here is uh, the treatment in which the plants were uh, not under the cover, but they were applied 20 millimolar of calcium chloride treatment. And if you compare between these two treatments, you do see a little bit of improvement in the plant growth. The plants are a little bit more greener. They're a little bit more bigger. And uh, I. We think that there is a chance that the calcium chloride worked. Now we will quantify it by taking these plants inside the lab and we will do some cold tolerance tests which will help us uh, uh, figure out uh, did our treatments really uh, help the plant uh, bear the uh, cold stress uh, a bit more. This treatment here is the 10 millimolar calcium treatment uh, and as you can see uh, the plants uh, did not do that better as compared to the 20. So 20 was a little better than the non-covered. Now to compare between the 10 and the non-covered ones, it's hard to say right now. We'll do some lab tests and see the cold tolerance. But in general, in terms of marketability, uh, this is again uh, uh, not acceptable. So these are the plants which were underneath the row covers and you see a significant improvement in the way these plants grew. If you uh, look at the plant, they are more green, they are bigger. And uh, this is something what uh, a consumer wants on his or her plate. We definitely see advantages of using uh, row covers. And again, this sensor here will record the temperature and the light which these plants received. But hands down, if you compare this with any plant outside, uh, certainly uh, these uh, are the ones uh, which a grower wants to grow. So to summarize the study which we did here this fall, 
uh, we see a potential advantage of using row cover and extending the uh, season for growing uh, fall season vegetable like lettuce, uh, which could be ideal if you plant in October and harvest somewhere close to 15th of November, it's good for Thanksgiving. Uh, but again, uh, the effect of calcium, uh, that we still have to see. Uh, this is the first year of the study. We'll repeat the study again next year. And the lab uh, experiments will let us know, uh, get a little bit more handle about what calcium did. Uh, uh, to, uh, to end with, uh, I would like to thank Brenton Center under the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Uh, Help me uh, tape this video. And also uh, to you all uh, for watching this clip. Once again, I'm Ajay Nair. I'm an extension faculty in the Department of Horticulture at Iowa State University.